felt smooth. That felt oh. really smooth. Life is a smooth path for us, man. Naturally set up for us to execute it out smoothly. But just because it's set up that way does not mean that your approach is always going to be perfect because it's a conquering journey for us, man. Life is not that long, but it is a long, sustainable time for us to enact and embark on a journey. Some stuff may come easier, some stuff may not come easier. Every man's situation and how he approaches it in life is different. But for the men that get it, it's proof that that path is truly real for all of us men to embark on and enjoy life the way it should be for us. I bet you encounter situations where you've gone into it and you pretty much have gone into it blind and there was a very rough approach to it because it's as if you didn't know what was going on or what you were doing. You were cutting through that situation very rough-like. Your edges per se were not smoothing through the situation as if there was nothing. No smooth edges, very bumpy. And when you're caught in a situation like that, the result of that is very easy and simple to identify. Say you grew up very shy and you're desperate for a friend group, but you find it very hard to find one that is very right for yourself. So you settle for lesser top tier type of people to hang out with because they seemingly see to you as top tier. So you endure pain from them. You endure insults, physical pain, belittlement, all that. What's the result from that? What's the path like with that? Say you're going to college and you're going for a certain field of work you're encouraged by people in your life to go for it because it will establish a secure career for you so you can thrive in life and you think you've seen proof from it from people living that life as well and you think you're on the right path but you just really don't seem like you belong into that type of field it doesn't seem like you you seem like you're working a lot more harder than you should you feel like you're not enjoying it as much as you should. People around you that are also going for what you want to in that field don't seem to get along with you as it should be. It just doesn't seem right. What do you think that kind of path looks like? Or maybe from a very young age, you were mistreated a lot from people. You were judged, you were bullied, you were pushed around, you get the shit beat out of you, and it just turned you completely sour. You've been pummeled into a sour pulp that has hardened over time, and any look you get from anyone or any interaction, you become very mean. You have a solid sty on your face, you always look pissed off, but for some reason, you feel like you're accomplishing more in life this way. That you're actually enjoying this more because what you were getting out of it before was very unpopular with your worldview. But avoiding and hating people for so long just creates you in your own shell, basically. And you feel very lonely. And you feel like you can't escape from that shell. You feel like there's no way out of it. You feel like this is how it is. Maybe people really do just fucking hate me. How's that path look like? With these types of approaches in life with mine, they're known as dull approaches. Because you're cutting through these situations as if you're cutting through it with a dull knife. And the result is just an off course catastrophe. Just the whole situation is just not as smoothly ran through as it should be. But that's life. And all those failures and blunders from that rough edge sword that you're running through them with are the lessons you need to enact that smooth path that is already there waiting for you to cut through. And this is where the role of confidence comes into play with us, Mod. Take all those failures, all of them. All of these failures. Study them. Study all these failures. Study what went wrong here. Study went. Study what went wrong here. Study what happened here. Study the approach that happened here. What happened there? <coughs> Study it and do the exact opposite of that approach. Learn the correct approach. That is confidence. Have confidence in what you did wrong and then taking the right approach to do it right. There's more than enough time in life to start a clean slate. To in a split second, you want to sharpen your blade to cut through life, to enact that smooth path. Dropping toxic people from your life that do not bring fulfillment to your life and going towards people that bring fulfillment to your life. It may take time, it may take more trials and errors, but if you keep going at it, you keep taking that approach of what do I need in life? What truly makes me happy in life? What type of actions and attitudes from others that make me feel like I'm me? I feel accepted as well. Having the confidence to go out and find that. Knowing what you need. Have confidence of knowing what you need and finding it. 
You know what you need. Go out and get it. That's confidence. Staying true to yourself, staying true to what you believe is your calling in life, your purpose, what makes you happy in life, what you want to do with your life, what work in life that makes you, you in life. That just feels effortless. That feels like it's not even a job. It's just life. That's just the way it's meant to be. And accepting people. Start with yourself. Accept who you are. If you want to be treated a certain way, why not treat the world that way first? Sure, you're going to meet some fucking assholes in this world. You know what? Have confidence. Tough it out. Keep taking that approach. Keep acting like what you want out of life. And it will return to you tenfold. Have confidence with it. Do not back down to it. Do not shell yourself. Put it out there. Act it out there. Serve it out there. And it will be served right back to you. And with the put forth act of confidence with these dull approaches, making you as a man lost in this world, sharpens your blade, sharpens your knowledge, and your blade becomes very sharp. You can smoothly cut through these situations. And it cuts like a knife. 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 Have confidence. Learn from those failures. Learn from those dull mistakes. And then sharpen your dullness to cut through that smooth path of life that is right there at your beckoning. Saint Perigine, patron saint of all forms of cancer. We ask you for your help in asking God to heal my cancer and keep it in remission. Pray for me so that I may live a long and faithful life.